You want to talk about Oracle launching my SQL Heatwave yeah. Data Lake House. That's quite a mouthful. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Yeah, you know, Oracle, I it, it feel like I talk about Oracle on every blessed podcast we have. <laughs> um, you know, it's like, because they're, they're, they're continuously driving, um, you know, new products and new services out into the market. So before talking about their offering, just to level set what a data lake house is, because it sounds like something either out of Friday the 13th, um, <laughs> you know, combined with combined with Revenge of the Nerds, right? Uh -huh. um, so data lake house, it's what you would think, right? Think data warehouse meets data lake, right? Uh, you've got lots of unstructured data, huge scale and, and uh, capacity within in a data lake. The data warehouse brings a lot of structure and the ability to you know, kind of attach those BI tools or analytics tools very easily. Lakehouse combines the capabilities of those. Uh, and there are players out there, Databricks, Snowflake, um, you know, AWS has an offering, Azure has an offering. Big space, more and more companies, but I think last I read about 75% of the companies, if they haven't invested in a data lake house strategy yet, are going to. Right. Um, Oracle announced this back in, uh, you know, they announced the, the preview of it, beta, let's call it a beta, uh, kind of go old school, back uh, third or last quarter of last year, and they, they launched it today. To me, it's significant for a couple of reasons. One, um, it advances what Oracle is doing with with Heatwave, which that's a whole separate discussion. They've really expanded the capabilities of Heatwave and MySQL. Um, but second, it shows them continually playing in these newer kind of nascent markets that are just exploding, right? Say 75% com of companies are, are exploring it or deploying it, but it's still relatively a new technology. Yeah. Um, and they're really well positioned uh, to win. Uh, you know, when you think about who the data management players are out there. You know, there is one company that's been around forever, right? Seemingly forever. Yeah. Um, and they have owned the enterprise data management space, you know, since I was doing it when uh, I had more hair and less of a, in, a forehead instead of a five head. Um, <laughs> I mean, they were, you know, they they are, Oracle is the, is the leader in the data management space and kind of yeah. expanding into these places where, newer and emerging companies are coming into play, you know, it shows that they're not giving an inch, which I, I really appreciate. Second part of that is the MySQL. I want to kind of hit on that a little bit in this. MySQL, you know, for a long time, it's always been like the departmental divisional kind of uh, database that I, I used to work on it quite a bit uh, back in my days in IT, and we used it um, quite a bit across the enterprise, but in a more, in a more of a departmental level. Um, this has really kind of gone from that to very grand in scale with Heatwave, you know, real time processing. Um, Paul, in your space, you know, you look at uh, data lake houses as, you know, awesome repositories for deeper analytics or AI. Um, um, you know, it's it's amazing what they're doing. I, so I love what they're doing. I love that they're yeah. not just sitting back and being the old Oracle. Um, and I think there's a lot of value that customers are going to find in this.